happy Thursday everybody and happy new year happy 2018 and so I'm just making a video flying high flying high video okay um, just basically talking about protein and the importance of protein vegetables and fruits in our diets you know what I'm saying um, they're so vital in the reproduction and the production of our cells in our bodies in addition to sleep and other calcium magnesium other supplements that our bodies make that once we get to a certain age we don't continue to make those anymore so i was again um coming up with a concept um, it's already been a concept, but I was just coming up with something to eat and to um, meal prep. But that's the important thing, meal prepping. Um, for me, I'm starting school in January um, as far as my nursing part um, to get my RN degree. And so uh, I understand now the importance of making my meals in in advance uh, which I've always kind of done um because I'm very conventional I don't eat out if I eat out it's because I'm out of town you know what I'm saying but when I'm here in my um in my residency I don't really eat out I don't go to Waffle House I don't go to McDonald's I don't go to Wendy's I don't support Burger King I don't support churches KFC McDonald's ew, especially McDonald's I don't support any of that stuff I support um, mom and pop shops you know what I'm saying I support fish markets um, I support uh, anything that's kind of black owned I will try to support, but if it's a lot of um, greasy foods, fried foods, French fries, you know, I don't. But um, any type of Jamaican restaurants where they serve jerk chicken, jerk cur curry, chicken, um, anything of that matter, I will support. So today, um, I got some chicken breasts. And I don't eat chicken very often, but I understand the um, importance of that. And as well, um, trying to cook efficiently, you know what I'm saying? Um, sorry, the government sucks, you know what I'm saying? They tell me that I make too much money, but as you can see, I have a house. This is a, 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 this is a nice house. For one person, you know what I'm saying? This is where my grandparents laid. And so, um, Pell Grant. <laughs> Government, you know what I'm saying? They tell me that I make too much money. Um, although I have to pay bills, I have to pay, um, uh, I have to pay mortgage, you know what I'm saying? I have freaking water, garbage, utilities, lights. Uh, garbage, you know what I'm saying, sewage, you know, I have all these things, plus I work, at, you know, when I work, I got to drive, maintaining my car, and so they don't even take that into account, so, you know, everybody's like, oh, why don't you take out student loans, I don't want to take out student loans, you know what, I don't want to take out student loans, because you go to your deathbed, <laughs> in debt with student loans, you know what I'm saying, um, unless you're going to pay them back and you really go into the field that you're designed to go into, then yes, I can see it being beneficial because you can pay them off fairly quick. But if you're not, you know what I'm saying? Stop taking these student loans out and not going to school. If you don't go to school and you're going to take these student loans out, at least go to school, do your best, try to hunt, you know what I'm saying? And do the best that you can. So. And so I don't do it because I'm not doing the best that I can. I do it because I don't want to owe that debt. You know what I'm saying? I hate owing people. So everybody's situation is different. Um, for me, it's all about saving. For me, it's all about continuing the legacy to a certain degree. And so that's where I'm at in my life. Um, so in addition to... Um, that's what I'm talking about right now is cooking efficiently. I have four chicken breasts 
You know what I'm saying? I got four chicken breasts. And what I, I basically did was slice those chicken breasts. And I have uh, zucchini, tomatoes, um, orange and yellow bell peppers. That's what's in there. Um, and so I'm going to just cook it in my skillet. And that's what I'm going to eat in addition to some rice and some vegetables. Um so what I've done is I have this skillet cast iron skillet I have this skillet I basically am going to drizzle some olive oil on there over my chicken you know to kind of keep it moist lock in the moisture keep it moist okay um right here I have the best Worcestershire sauce and I, I'm so messed up right now because I'm giving y'all all my secrets. Well, some of all of my secrets, but that's the importance, right? Um, sharing information. So I'm just going to pour that over my chicken. Okay. And that's kind of going to moisture the bottom of the chicken, even though I have some olive oil. Then next, I'm going to put on my sea salt. Okay. Sea salt is... <sighs> Man, it's super good for you. It's also like a detox. So I'm going to pour that over there. Well, not pour, but I'm going to sprinkle it. Okay. You guys always wonder. I know some people wonder, oh, Stephanie, how much seasoning are you put on it? How are you going to put on uh, your meat? And I tell people, um, that's the hard, that's been the hardest thing for me is trying to figure out how much salt I put on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like my grandmother. Um, my mother, uh, grandmother Medea. I just sprinkle it on there. I don't have a rhyme or reason. I just put it on there. And whatever feels good to me, that's what I put. And that's what I do. So um, I'm going to sprinkle some, just some regular black pepper on top. And that's uh, just regular McCormick's regular McCormick black pepper okay um, and really that's it uh, the only other thing that I know for sure that I'm gonna add to it is a lemon fresh fresh squirrels lemon fresh lemon okay uh, if you don't have fresh of course you can use the bottled or whatever but I prefer to use fresh, you know, and I just give it a good squeeze over all the chicken to add some extra flavor. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to put it in the oven, uh, let it cook for approximately, uh, I want to say about 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how big your uh, chicken breasts are. These aren't that big, so I have. Uh, I think I'm going to cook it for about 25 minutes. Um, the oven is set for 375, and I'm going to put it on in there. Um, and that's my meal. Quick, easy, not hard, delicious. And on top of that, it's healthy. It's healthy. Without frying it, it's healthy. So let's continue to fly high. Okay, uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube page, B Lock It, B dot Lock It, and I also have a Facebook page, Flying High. Check me out. Peace.